Hi everyone, yesterday I decided to challenge the members of our um, Graphiland community, those who belong to the WhatsApp group. So I um, challenged them with three simple, I would say simple in quotes, AI and data um, questions. And the answers that came through were yeah, quite quite good, but the, the goal of the quiz was not for me to, to know how intelligent um, you are, but the goal was just to identify areas where um, my team and I, we can provide more resources so that it can help you transition to become an AI and data, uh, AI and data specialist. So for those of you who are not part of the WhatsApp community, I'm going to share the, the WhatsApp community in, in, this, uh, in the chat section of this video. But for now, I'll still just repeat the questions here and you know, this is still an opportunity for you to answer them in the chat section. So the question, question one was, um, Question one, let me get the pencil. What is the main foil of AI? So that was question one. What is the main foil of AI? And A, the possible answers were prompting. B, I'm going to so large language models, that's LLM. C, data and t chat sorry i won't do it let me get it right chat g p t so right now you can pause the video and in the chat section just write question one a question two so q q1 or q1 you say a or q1 b or q2 c or q1 t just let me know what's the right answer I'm going to give you some time to answer that 30 seconds max to answer that question. So the question is, what is the main foil of AI, artificial intelligence? A, prompting, B, LLM, C, data, and D, chat, GPT. Okay, by now I expect you to have the answer in the comment section. So the right answer is data, okay? Now, when we talk about the main foil of AI, it means that thing that no matter if we don't have it, there will be no AI. And as we all know, data is a foundation to AI. If you haven't watched my video, my, uh, my last video about data foundation, make sure you go watch it now. I'm going to also provide the link in, the, in this video description. The reason why prompting is not correct is prompting is related to chat. Yeah, technically you could relate to chat GCP or to large language models. So the instructions you give to uh, a large language model is um, prompting. And one of the implementations of large language models is chat GPT. So whatsoever instructions you give to chat GPT, for example, is known as prompting. And behind chat GPT, we have these large language models. And all of this, they all rely on data. If we never had data, um, data in electronic format, there would have been any AI uh, involved. So that was the first answer. First question and that was this answer. Question two. Question two is which type of database model, which type of database model is ideal for data analysis? It's ideal for data analysis. A, Postgres, B, Relational model, relational model, C, known, sorry about that, C is known relational model, and Z, star schema, the star schema model. Again, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to answer this question. The question is, which type of database model is ideal for data analysis? So A, Postgres, B, relational model, C, non-relational model, and D, star schema model. Note, this is not uh, an opportunity for me to test your intelligence. I'm not, that is not the goal. The goal is to be able to identify the areas where you are not good at so that 
my team and I, we can provide more resources on this. I always tell people it's not about just learning all the skills. It's about identifying the skills that you need to, in order to become, um, to, in order to solve a particular a specific problem. Okay, so the, the right answer here is the star schema. So here's the right answer. And I'll explain why the orders are not correct. So first of all, Postgres is just a technology. It's a database management system that relates, uh, it's really a relational model that is built upon relational, the relational model. And the relational model, if you, are, if you haven't watched my, other, my video on the data fundamentals, still again, go watch that video. The relational model is ideal for uh, transactional data where you want to store data. Take for example, you in a supermarket, the system that they use in order to manage our purchases, it's behind the scene most of the time they use the relational model. The non-relational model is also a database management model where the data is not, it's not possible for you to keep in a relational, in case relational model. For example, Facebook, you cannot use um, a relational model with it like in the database behind Facebook. So that is not possible. It's the star schema model. In my previous video about data fundamentals, I actually explained this. And in one other video, I really took the time to differentiate between um, relational model and star schema. So the relational model is good for transactional data management, but the star schema ideally is good for um, data analysis. So that's why if you have, for example, if you have data in the Postgres database, the data engineer will transfer it into a data warehouse that has a star schema model. So the right answer for question two was um, star schema model. So question three, question three is, what is the process? I think I've already answered this if you are keen enough. What is the process of transferring? What is the process of transferring data from a transactional database? transactional database to a data warehouse the data warehouse using data pipelines a data analysis machine learning machine learning C data engineering data engineering and D artificial intelligence So question three, what is the process of transferring data from a transactional database to a data warehouse using data pipelines? Again, 30 seconds to answer this question. If you were keen enough, you, sh you should have this answer correct because I already I kind of answered it when I was um, giving the explanation for question two. Remember, transactional database is good. I just, a good example is your supermarket. Behind the scene, the software you see, that they use for uh, managing purchases behind those types of um, softwares. We have a transactional database that is built using the relational data model. Um, then the data warehouse, based on what we just said above, it's you. It's good for you know. It's good. It's good for data analysis in the sense that when data when data is in a transactional database, it's not advisable to do data analysis because. Things are happening. People keep updating the information and you don't want to do analysis on the live database, except you want live analysis. But ideally, you should transfer the data to a data warehouse. And from there, your data analysts, um, data scientists, or machine learning guys can now take data from there and um, do the job. So I'll just explain. I hope by now you already have your answer in the chat section. 
and data analysis first of all it's not correct data analysis is a process where you try to you extract value value out of raw data and you inform decision makers so that they can make data driven decisions machine learning technically is the ability for you to to use past data and predict what is going to happen in the future um, let's say you for a supermarket they have been doing sales for the past five years um, so now they want you to use that um, historical data in order to predict what is going to happen in the next three months or six months so that's machine learning and data engineering is actually the process ideally you could say is a process where some um, a data engineer will take data from different data sources and one of the sources can be a transactional database and transfer into a data warehouse using a, a data warehouse that has a star schema model so the right answer here is so the right answer here is uh, the data engineering so data engineering is just a transfer of data from different sources including a transactional database to another source and if if the purpose is for data is for just to dump the data somewhere then it could be in a data warehouse um but also know that there can still be a process where you transfer from one transactional data from one transactional database to another type of database which is just a relational database but that process is called data engineering and you already know why artificial intelligence is not correct artificial intelligence is the process where um, we try to to make computers uh, mimic or uh, mimic what humans are capable of doing so artificial intelligence is not the right answer so that was the, uh, the quiz i had yesterday with the members of uh, graphiland and like i said if you're willing to 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 join the group i'm also going to um, you can request that you need you need the, the link i'm going to send the link to you you can join the whatsapp community so that was that and hopefully you've understood certain things i'm going to also provide the links to the videos that i created that can really help you to understand these concepts and even more and even more concepts so if you like this video don't forget um, to like and you know subscribe to the to the channel so that we can provide you with more of such valuable content thank you